for more Let's Cross Live now to Tel Aviv, where our chief foreign editor, Robert Parsons, is standing by for us. Rob, firstly, as fighting intensifies in Gaza, the Israeli military chief last night was saying there were signs he believed that the Hamas system was starting to fall apart. What is the very latest in terms of the fighting? Well, almost impossible to judge on the accuracy of, of, of what's of the reports coming from the uh, Israeli military. Uh, but they do say that they're making progress. They they say that Hamas's military structures are beginning to break down, that their brigade structures are be beginning to collapse as more and more of their fighters are killed. Uh, the Israelis claim around about 7,000 Hamas fighters have been killed since the war started after October the 7th. As I said, impossible to verify that. But if it's true, uh, I mean, that's about 25% of uh, Hamas's armed strength, and it would indicate that it is beginning to fall apart. Uh, and there are signs, too, of the morale is beginning to uh, collapse a bit. Uh, Hamas fighters surrendering in the northern part of Gaza in the Jabalia refugee camp. In the south, uh, Yahya Sinwa, that's the uh, commander of Hamas in Gaza's house, has been surrounded. Uh, Israel's describing that as a symbolic victory for them, nothing more than that, but say they will get Yahya Sinwa and that they will kill him eventually, uh, that he's got nowhere he can run to. Perhaps that's true, but for the moment, the fighting is going on very, very intensely, house to house, from top to bottom of Gaza. Uh, the Israelis have uh, Khan Yunus, the main city in the south of Gaza, surrounded now uh, with armor, and they're pressing forward into the city on the ground. But at the same time, they're calling people to evacuate, as you said in the introduction to this report. And David, uh, Rob, is there anywhere actually for people to go? We're getting more dire warnings about the humanitarian situation in Gaza. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, the humanitarian situation seems to be getting worse and worse. You know, the United Nations uh, aid chief, Martin Griffiths, was saying that the situation is so bad that it's becoming almost impossible uh, to operate any sort of humanitarian aid system. Uh, the, the figures that the UN are releasing, releasing are appalling. 36% of the population now suffering from severe hunger, 52%, an additional 52% suffering from moderate hunger. Uh, the Israelis themselves saying from the evidence of the blood tests that they've done on the hostages released that the spread of diseases is becoming a really serious problem now uh, in Gaza and health agencies are suggesting that before very long more people will be dying from health problems than from the Israeli bombardment which gives an idea of just how severe uh, the situation is given that close on 18,000 people have already been killed in the bombardment and around about 50,000 people injured. The situation the situation, in other words, is catastrophic, and people are being moved around from pillar to post. Antonio Guterres, the UN Secretary General, described them as being like pinballs, being knocked backwards and forwards, uh, first to one place, then to another, and then off to another place as well. And nowhere they go is safe, and that essentially is the problem. There is absolutely nowhere to go that is safe. Rob, for now, thank you. That is our Chief Foreign Editor here at France 24, Robert Parsons, joining us live from Tel Aviv.